Hello everyone and welcome to this Quest for Glory 5 Dragonfire playthrough right here on Let's Play with Brigands. You can check this out without the narration if you like, there should be a link in the description. You can also check out my entire playthrough of the Quest for Glory series, not just as a thief as we're playing right now, but Magic User, Paladin, it's all on that Master playlist in the description. This is the final chapter in the pacifistic adventures of Thiefy McSteels Jr. I've been attempting to play through this entire series, which I love very much, for the first time in my life without throwing a single punch, getting in no fights, getting through the series as non-violently as possible. It's been a challenge. I think this might be the toughest game to get through, being a pacifist, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Is let's uh, check out the intro, find out what's going on here in Silmaria in the final chapter of the Quest for Glory series. Silmaria was a peaceful kingdom nestled among a hundred islands until the dragon came. The beast rose from its ancient lair and plunged the land into chaos. Seven pillars were raised and enchanted with spells from ancient scrolls. The pillars were placed throughout the kingdom as each one rose, the dragon became weaker. This powerful enchantment drove the dragon into its lair. But don't but forget. Remember, dragons live a long time. And that once line. angered, they do not forget. Hold a grudge, Years those dragons. Of peace have come and gone, and most have forgotten the dragon's reign of terror. But there are those who do remember. And for one in particular, the past is seen as the key to the kingdom. I have seen a vision that the blood of a murdered man will break the ancient spell and free the dragon from its tomb. And as the pillars fall, dark fingers of evil will reach out across the land. Dark fingers of evil. Oh, this looks like Warcraft 2 to me right here. <laughs> the orcs. I am the king of Silmaria, and I do not have long to live. An assassin has been unleashed to kill me, and an army of evil terrorizes the countryside. Silmaria must have a new leader, and the dragon must be destroyed forever. Only a hero can save the kingdom. I pray one will come in time. Damn. An intro always gets me fired up for this game. I love it. Let's uh, import our hero here. Hero. <laughs> that nondescript. Alright, so we had a bit of an issue with the import here. I'm not sure the stats exactly match up. As I... I know I definitely had... We have the name, obviously, but I know I had magic. We're trying to get through this as purely thief as possible, but... Part of being a pacifist is you need all the help you can get sometimes to avoid conflict. So I don't think you'll begrudge me. Well, the magic we already had for one thing, but also by the same token, using a little bit here and there. But uh, but I understand the purists. So you just want to focus on the thief, and we're going to do that. Um, I got 50 points left over. I think I have a little hack for getting a lot of these stats up. So it's sort of like, where do you want to put these in? All right, it's always sort of like, what do you want to put these in? But... Uh, I don't know that lock picking is that important in this game. You can always, I think if we're going to get through, you saw that intro, <laughs> without, uh, without throwing too many punches, then I think we're going to need a lot of luck to get through this one. Not only as a pacifist, but alive by the same token. So let's do it. Thiefy McSteels Jr., son of Thiefy McSteels, greatest thief of all time, by the way. That's, that's not debatable, but... <laughs> You can check out that series, it's also in that playlist in the description. But let's get into it. So, dear boy, the Turn reason up. Fenris and I brought you here is this. 
You are a hero. And so, in the grand tradition of all heroes, you need to go where you are most needed. That happens to be Silmaria at this moment. The former king was assassinated a short while back. We have no idea why this was done or even who did it. Thus, you were summoned. Silmaria needs a new king, and thus the right of rulership is about to begin. This right will determine the next ruler for the kingdom. We would like you to enter the right of rulership. It is the most likely way to find the villain behind the nefarious deeds going on in Silmaria. If you choose to accept this mission, you will need to go to the Hall of Kings to speak with Logos, the centaur who is in charge of Silmaria right now. You will enjoy Silmaria. I am certain you will meet some old friends and make new ones. This is an interesting city, and these are interesting times. I've arranged for you to stay at the most amusing inn in Silmaria. The only inn. Would you like to go there now, or are you ready to head <laughs> into danger? No, danger sounds awful. I'd like to avoid as much danger in action as possible. <laughs> Probably not the best motto for this playthrough if we're trying to uh, you know, lure people into watching, entice them. But no, I, that's the last thing Thief McSteels Jr., the pacifist, wants to do. Let's go to Silmaria. Can't even chat with him a bit. I think he says we go where we're needed most, and Silmaria needs you the most right now. I just I picture him warping us to, I don't know, the streets of Compton or something in the next adventure. Sadly, there was no next adventure. This is the final chapter in the Quest for Glory series. Arguably, game for game, my favorite series of all time. No small praise there. Love our run. So we're going to need to do a lot of sneaking in this game. Problem is, sneaking is very slow. So uh, I've come up with a little plan for that, but we'll talk about that in a bit. You may enter the Hall of Kings now. Let's talk to that centaur he mentioned logos right now. See if we can get some more information as to what's going on here on day one. Heroic music will get you pumped up. Hey, it's our old pal Rakesh. Prince of Shapir. I am Logos, counselor to rulers and speaker of Silmaria. Welcome to the kingdom of Silmaria. I have heard much of you from your friends Erasmus and Rakesh. Aww. Greetings, my friend. It is good to know that you are here. This land needs a hero of your abilities. Good to see you, you Oh, they need a thief? Why you were summoned here. Pacifistic thief? The rights of rulership need one more entrant before it can begin. All other competitors are worthy individuals. Eh. However, I suspect that these rights will be more dangerous than they are intended. We believe that the one or ones who assassinated the King of Somaria will attempt to make certain the contestant they support will win. You must understand that your life will be in grave danger from the moment you enter the right of rulership. That's that D word again. We will be doing everything we can to stop the assassin. You're not going to do but anything. You need to be wary. I played Hero this game of before. the lands of Shapir, Tana, and Mordavia. Will you enter the rights of rulership? What about Spielberg? Did that get uh, that part of my resume? Not. It's only so much space, I suppose. Uh, well, first off. Yes. <laughs> I like, there's just that little matter of the, uh, the entry fee. We will be pleased and proud to have such a worthy hero contesting to become our leader. Cool. But hi. It is an honor to meet you. Nice. I am the speaker of we Silmaria. Have honor in this game? I am the voice of the king and check. of the people. I will make certain that only the most worthy shall attain the rulership of this kingdom. That is my duty and my honor. Not sure we've seen a centaur since uh, Quest for Glory 1. Not to gawk or anything. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't think we Rakesh have. and I have been friends for many years. When the king was assassinated, he never mentioned I contacted you. him through Erasmus for his wise counsel. Both Rakesh and Erasmus mentioned you and spoke of your worthiness. 
appreciate that, Rakesh. The Rites of Rulership is a series of quests that will aid Selmaria. Five individuals will compete to complete these quests. The one who accomplishes the most will be judged worthy to become king. To enter these rites, <laughs> you must first contribute 1,000 on. drachmas to the rulership fund. This can be done at the Bank of Silmaria. Your father, the Sultan of Shapir, was informed of this by myself and my wife, and has contributed 300 nice. drachmas toward your entrance in the rites. Erasmus and I Thanks, have Dad. each deposited another 100 drachmas. Of course, my real father is Stephen McSteels, but I mean, I'm not going to turn down 300 drachmas right now. I'm not going to split hairs as to who my uh, genetic father is. Um, I was just thinking, if the Sultan of Shapir put down 300 drop, like that's a lot of money, clearly, if the Sultan's putting out that much and Erasmus and Rakesh can only afford 100 each. Like, how is Co one of the other entrants is just a guard named Kokino? Where does he get a thousand drachmas for? Did everyone else put in a thousand is what I'm asking, Logos? The Bank of Silmaria is located in Town Square. The Good bank manager will be expecting you and explain the right fund. As a thief, you always want to know where the, uh, the bank in town is. During the rites of rulership, all quests will be announced one at a time. Some rites can be fulfilled by only one person. Other rites cannot end until all contenders accomplish their assignment. A more detailed explanation of the rites will be given when the rites of rulership begin. We await your entry into the contest. So could some random, just like, you know, relatively wealthy guy enter as the fifth spot? And I'm just like, oh, all right, well, whatever. I guess I'll just work on my tan here in Silmar. Yeah? The Sultan Harun al Rashid has sent a letter of recommendation about you. He says you would make a most splendid king, to use his words. He also sends you his blessing and trusts you will choose the future you wish to fulfill. Yeah, we really made quite an impression on the Sultan, I have to say. I mean, it would be nice if everyone whose world's lands that we save gave us the same treatment. But, uh, yeah. He appreciates us. Our kingdom of Silmaria consists of the Isle of Marit and the outlying islands in the yeah, center of the city. assassin used a poison dagger to kill our king. Hmm. The poison is very deadly and unknown to our healers. Unless an antidote is administered immediately, the victim is dead within a minute. Even with an antidote, buy some antidotes. unless the victim has a very hearty constitution, he will remain unconscious for weeks. We are trying to learn the exact nature of the poison in order to cure this. The assassin of the king is a man skilled in stealth and the use of a poison dagger. Hmm. A merchant was also presumed to be killed by the assassin, for his body was found by the docks and he died from the same poison. Why would they kill a merchant? You have a wide range of experiences to draw upon from your past. It should serve you well in Silmaria. All right. I shall see you again when the rites of rulership begin. May Taiki, goddess of good fortune, smile upon you. Yeah, I just put 50 uh, points into my luck. Can I talk to Rakish? The white hair in his mane shows that your dear friend Rakish has aged since you last saw him, but he still bears the unmistakable aura of strength and nobility. I'm gonna say, I think we did the math at one point, and did the timeline of how much time actually elapses over the course of this adventure. And I'm sorry to everyone who just wants me to get into the game, but I'm just take it for a second. And we can walk out right now. Um. Like Quest for Glory, one to two, we beat the brigands, and then I think we go back. Like, you know, we we head to Shapir pretty soon after that. In Shapir, I think we spend what three or four weeks to clear that out. You have to, otherwise the elementals destroy the town. So you're pretty much on a clock there. What else we got? Rites of rulership. We know about that. Fisherman flee. I think the biggest gap was between two and three. I think it's like three to six months before we head through that portal. We hang out with our uh, adopted father, the Sultan. Honeybees, bad omen. 
Okay. Enter rights. Justinian's dead. Is that it? Alright. And then, of course, at the end of three, we're only in that for a few weeks, we get transported straight to Mordavia. And then the Erasmus at the end of that game transports us to Somaria, essentially. So <laughs> it's like three months. Rakesh's beard shouldn't be any different. Any differently colored. Maybe he just didn't keep up on his Just for Lions treatment or something Greetings, like that. and welcome to the first bank of Silmaria. This is the safest place to keep your savings secure from pickpockets and thieves. Would you like to leave your money with me? Oh, it's you. I was told you were coming. Your friend set up a savings account in your name. Hefty sum of 500 drachmas. You've got some generous friends, let me tell you. Yeah. Royal in some cases. Well, the one case. I'm Thiefy McSteels Jr. Always gotta make the thief sign even to people we shouldn't. <laughs> Looks at you blankly. Think you would know that sign. Hi there. Have you invested in your future? This is the place to save. Yeah, it's the place to rob. I'll be here tonight. I'm Sam. Sam the Banker Man. I own and run this bank. Would you like to make a deposit? Except this guy's gotten a lot older, because I think... Can we tell him about ourselves? Here we go. I thought you looked familiar. Yeah, we met in Spielberg, where I was working the alley as a professional panhandler. Like less than a year ago. after you left Spielberg that the pass cleared and the tourists flocked back to town. I made a small fortune and said bye-bye to those cold climbs. Came to Silmaria and needed some place to stash my cash. So I started my own bank. <laughs> Seemed appropriate after all. I'm still asking others for their money. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Yeah, he, he looked like a relatively young man in that game. <laughs> now he's bald and has just a bit of white hair in the back. Alright, something's going on with the time. The First Bank of Silmaria will keep your money safe and secure. The Right of Rulership Fund is set up for the competition to become King of Silmaria. You need to contribute 1,000 drachmas in order to enter the Right of Rulership. Usually people have friends and relatives help raise that much cash. Uh, we have one fund which gets contributions from all the guards in Silmaria. Uh, okay. It takes a lot of money to enter That's the Right of Kokino Rulership. That's how did it. But it is a great honor to compete to become King. All right, now it makes sense. Your savings will be kept in the most secure safe. Most Thanks secure to your safe. good friends. You've already got 500 drachmas in your account. Nice. Not for long, though. That lion guy said that he that and Erasmus guy. the wizard were starting the savings account for you. They wanted you to enter the right of rulership. Man, you have strange taste in friends, but they sure make good ones. They sure do. Silmaria is a great place to settle down and save a little for the future. Too many people forget how important a savings account can be, particularly adventurers. Adventurers think they can fight monsters forever. <laughs> Next thing they know, they are begging in alleyways. A sad fate for a once respectable hero. Yeah. So save today to keep the alleys away, I always say. Mm -hmm. Our banking hours are dawn to dusk daily. When you save here, you know your money is safe. Can I uh, take all that money out right now? Whoa there. <laughs> what good is money if all you do is spend it? Like the idea of just taking Erasmus and Rakesh's money and the Sultan's and just blowing it at the, uh, the tavern. Anyway... We, uh, we don't need this money right now, but there's no reason to keep it in the bank. Ever. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. You won't be here, but I'll be back. <laughs> Alright. Let's get our save here. And we got some existing Thiefy McSteels. Let's overwrite this. I was testing it out. Alright, let's explore a bit of Somaria. Here on day one. 
No need to rush out and enter the rights of rulership yet, especially when we can't afford it. We'll make some money soon. A couple ways of doing that. This is the magic shop. So again, we have a few spells. Let's actually take a look at our spells. So this isn't going to be consistent with what happened at the end of 4, because again, that import was a little funky. But uh, we have, I don't know, we have a number of decent spells. The main one I'm interested in is the comp spell, obviously. That uh, usually cooler heads prevail when you use that, which is good when you're a pacifist. Protection spell, we might use that to give ourselves a little extra cover. Undead spirits. Yeah, this is the physical one. Let's hot bar that and calm. Protect magic. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with any of this offensive stuff, obviously. Let's see who the magic shop owner is. Another lion tar. Greetings, Prince of Shakti. Patch of white fur. My father, Rakish, informed oh, me of your arrival. There you go. I'm Chakra Sultana, and this is the magic shop of Silmaria. Chakra of Tarna. How you doing, Chakra? Greetings unto you, wizard. Ah, I mean, I'm more of a thief. I notice, though, if you come in here and you don't, you have no magic skill whatsoever, he'll say, I, you know, I can't really help you. I can sell you a couple knickknacks. Yeah, let's talk about Mordavia. You freed Irana's soul from Avuzel. Avuzel. I grieve to learn that Irana is indeed dead, but I rejoice that her soul is at rest. Yep. I am a wizard like yourself. Not a wizard. I apprentice with my mother, Krisha, and the enchantress, Aziza of Shapir. I am specializing in object enchantment. I just, you know, I know, I know a couple tricks here and there. What do you got to, uh, what do you got to buy? Any spells we might use? Resistance spell. Heat, lightning, or cold. Eh. Magic charm. We do need the magic magnet. Let's see how our communication is. We get 20% off? I know your dad. I thank you for doing nice. business with me. Saved your dad's life. Wait, did I? Well, yeah. stopped a war from breaking out your homeland. Nothing else. Magic pills, mana potion. Dagger, yeah, I don't need any of this other stuff. That's fine. I don't know, I'll take a few mana pills. Ten of us. I thank you for doing business with me. You got it, shocks. Yeah, these mystic magnets are awesome. Drop one back at your uh, your hotel room. And then whenever you're out and about, you just use the other one and it warps you right back your hotel room pretty clutch all right so let's let's start the trade here steal some fruit I wouldn't dream of stealing my last my surname is literally mixed deals he filch some fruit nice let's find out who we just stole from welcome welcome stranger I am Marak I got an intense and this stare. is my stand of food if you find yourself suffering from the pangs of hunger or desire just a snack to brighten your day, you have come to the proper place. May I aid you in any way? Just let me know, for I am at your service. I'm a thief. I'm a very open thief. If your belly aches so from <laughs> hunger, perhaps you should buy some fruit from me. That's not It honest makes response. a good between meal snack. Good to know, Marak. What do you got? We never might know when you might meet that special someone. Can I get this for 25% uh, off? Forgive me, but I must feed 20 my... 20% off? That is very good. That seems like we the sweet spot. 20% discount, which is not bad. You know, that's like the uh, employee discount in a lot of places. I'll take a pepperoni pizza. May your mouth be charmed by the taste of it. On that response. Artichoke pizza. May your mouth be not as popular as the pepperoni, hence the price difference. Get a bunch of euros. Can I get 40% off here? Buy 50 euros. Forgive me, but I must feed my Fine. family. That is very good. Have enough euros for the game, then scurvy. Gotta fight that off. 
get 30. May your mouth. In addition to the one I just stole, or the six I guess I stole. All right, who we got here? Sala. Oh, she's playing my song. How about that? I'm still gonna steal from her. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm cool. See coins, people of good musician. No one's looking, right? Steal some coins. Grab some cash. Grab some crash is more like it. All right, so seeing as the game just crashed twice when I tried doing that, let's uh, not steal from her and let's go into this room instead. Oh well, I guess that's the universe's way of telling me not to steal from a musician, being a musician myself. Oh, Jewel and our luck. It's that prince person who told me about you. I'll never forget him. I can't tell you how happy I am that you told me about Jewel and our back in Tarna. Uh. Whatever your name is. <laughs> it's very Welcome memorable. Welcome to Thiefy our McSteels Jr. I believe we have met before. Although I was in quite another form at the time. You were a tree. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Julinar was a tree when you last saw her, wasn't she? That sentence. Well, it's good to see you again. How you two been? I had a feeling you two would get together. Hi. It's so good to see you again. I really have to thank you for telling me about Julinar. She's everything I dreamed she would be. It's good. How is she? I left Tarna and went all the way to Shapir by boat. I followed your directions, and there I found Julian. How did I know? All alone in the desert, just like you told me. I guess even trees get lonely. So I camped out there and talked to her, gave her some hugs and some really good plant food I brewed. Her leaves really perked up with my kind words. Then I awoke one night and the tree was gone. There sat the girl of my dreams in her place. Huh. I was totally thrilled. Even if I did kind of miss the tree. <laughs> We've been together ever since. Do things with Julinar that you couldn't do with the, her in tree form, but I, I digress. Yeah, how did we know to direct him to, uh, to Shapir? We travel everywhere by magical gate, you know? <laughs> it's like when your friend's driving the car, you don't really pay attention. You just, you're just along for the ride, having a good time. This is such a wonderfully cosmic place to be. I'm really glad we came here. Come back soon. You need to mellow out a little more. <laughs> Put some flowers in your hair, <laughs> that sort of thing. Always love your vibe, Salim. How you been, Julian? It is a great pleasure to see you. You have been most kind to me. Yeah. It is good to be human again. In the form of a tree, you can learn great wisdom, but it is the knowledge born of solitude. I now enjoy greatly the company of others. I am mastering the arts of healing both the body and the soul. Charged for it too, I bet. Salim is a man of great kindness and heart. I am deeply happy with him. Nice. This land is so much more alive than the deserts I grew up in. It is so green and lush that it soothes the soul. You said it, Julinar. Plants make people happy. Certainly have a whole bunch of them here. If you are ever injured, I will be honored to heal you. Speaking of which, I should probably buy some stuff. Can I get a pepper? Figure I sort of saved your life ish. Saved your form at least. Grab some peppers. Alright, how much money we got? 274. I'm a thief. <laughs> That's sweet that he does it too. <laughs> See her boogieing along with him, he stops and looks confused. <laughs> Let's see, healing pills, fireproof, vitality, health potion. That is expensive. Now oh, let's get some poison cure pills. Hey, thanks! Might save some this lives. This will really help me keep the shop going so I can make some more good pills and potions. Might save our lives. Now uh, let's get some healing pills. Can I get 30% discount? Considering I introduce you to your wife. I'd really like to be able to sell <laughs> stuff that cheaply, but then I wouldn't be able to buy food for my poor starving plants. How about this deal? Sure, that'll work. Fair. Alright, well it's good seeing you too. I'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Alright. 
else we got around here? Ah, Wolfie, one of my favorites. Let's chat with him right quick. Oh, who we got here? Another. Greetings, wanderer from afar. Welcome to the sea sands and shores of Silmaria. I am Sara, a cutter merchant of jewelry and gifts. How may I aid you on your journey? Do you know Shima and Shamin? We are the children of the desert sands, traders and merchants to a thousand lands. My mate Marak, the food seller, and mm -hmm. my Dara Sala, the maker of music, have come to this land of water and waves to make our fortune. Three cats were all related. I stole, or I tried to steal from your daughter. I definitely stole from your husband. I guess I'll try to steal from you too. My life mate Marak sells food from a cart. He is on the other side of this plaza. Let's talk about Shapir. So, you are the Prince of Shapir. Damn right. You are a great hero of our homeland. I am most honored to speak with you, Kata friend. But I will not still give you more than 20% discount. Alright, hold on. Let's get a save here. See if it crashes again. We try to filch something. Venga a la Venus, ignomi. Sure. What? I mean, everyone's looking at me, but okay. You are a thief. How could you, <laughs> such a hero, do this thing? God, help me! That's not good. That's not the save we want either. There we go. Yeah, steal from the side, dude. Going around to the front to steal. Alright. This worked better other times. Greetings, Prince Can I buy some stuff? Got anything worth buying? When we find that special lady. Good luck charm can certainly use that jewelry, beaded necklace. This might be good for some flirting. 20%? Perhaps you would be willing to offer me this much. Mm. Surely it is more valuable wow. than that. Will you not pay enough? Such quibbling is like kittens squabbling over a toy. I Either buy it for this or own it not. I saved your homeland and you're quibbling with me over one drachma? We are in agreement. Ridiculous. All right. I tell you, it's when you're a hero, it's really more about what have you done for me lately, you know? Here's someone who's always down to see me. Greetings, greetings, greetings. It is always a pleasure to meet someone new. Welcome to Silmaria. I am Wolfie, an artist, an artisan of Grecian urns and amphoria. Hello, Wolfie. It is most genuinely a pleasure to be seeing you. My tail wags very fast. <laughs> What's the Grecian urn? Are we speaking union or non-union? Pretty good. Oh my goodness, you are certainly a hero. This is very good, because it is that Salmaria could use your help, I am thinking. That's why I'm here, Wolfie. As they would say in the lands I have come from, Namaste. This means greetings to you, and I am hoping much to see you again. Alright, can I purchase something? Do you have anything worth purchasing? A map? Don't really need the map. I probably could steal from Wolfie, but I won't. I bet he'll give me 25% off. That is a very good offer, but now we seem to be getting wow. four. Very good, very good. 10%? This, this is very, very good. I should we probably... have made an agree. Yeah, yeah. Can I have a few more? You only have one? I need to have some money for gambling. Thank you. <laughs> money for gambling. I have gambled away, or I've spent pretty much all the money that the, uh, the Sultan and Erasmus and Rakesh have kindly given to me. But don't worry. We'll get it all back and then some. So this is our lodging here. Hello. Hello, sailor. I'm Anna Grandma, Gnome Anne, and this is my land inn. Uh, I'm a thief. That's really silly looking. <laughs> a gnome no silly, after all. Is that the latest dance craze? Looks like you need lessons. If you're not sure, then how can you say that? Oh, I'm... so you're the guy the chatting rat made arrangements for. Cheese to meet you. Your oh. room's paid up through the month. That's good, because I'm broke as uh, heck at the moment. 
I like that Fenris is the one making the bookings and everything. Yours is the first door at the top of the stairs. Right there. All the comforts of Gnome, including Gnome Cook Meals. Nice. California, or whatever it is they say around here. Who says that? Want to get to know me a little better? I'd Whoa. sure like to get to know you. I came all the way from Zurich to make this little bed and breakfast in winterless wonderland. And what happens? No tourists. That's the way my life goes. Hmm. This seemed like a good deal. I got a good loan from the other innkeeper in town. Nice guy, if a little chubby. As my first Fur and only customer, I'll let you have the best room in the joint. Appreciate that. I don't know much about Silmaria, because I've only been here a short time. I'm always in and never out. Understandable. I'll be seeing you. I like your vibe, Anne. Uh, yeah. Let's get our first meal hey, here. You in better Sol watch your weight. What? You eat too much. You should be going on a diet. I just met you. That's very forward. Very uh, presumptuous. Uh, did I eat something without realizing? I, I guess I'm still full from my avocado and uh, sorry, not avocado, my garlic and yeah, I guess garlic and avocado sandwiches back in Mordavia. All right, so that's our room up there. If you want to get into your room or the inn late at night, you'll need a key. Here you are. I don't think I will. But uh, we don't have to talk about that. I really wish that Punny Bones, the gnome jester from Quest for Glory 4, made an appearance. He said he was coming to Selmaria. I think he gets out before everything goes down. All the craziness. Would have been great to see him do a set on stage. Got the Adventurers Guild here. Hey, it's Toro, everybody. Good see Hero Man. Good Hero Man here. Toro like Hero Man. I always wanted to see a conversation between Toro and Manu. Be a fly on the wall for that. Hi, Toro. Good see Hero Man. Yeah. Like Silmaria. Feel like home. Like guild. Important job. Miss Elsa. Want Elsa be here more. Glad see you. Well, now that we've established that. Good place talk adventure. Good place make body strong. Good place learn things. Good place. I mean, you got the treadmill. I don't know about anything else he just said, but... Toro come here. Guild guy ask Toro if adventurer. Toro say yes. Guild guy say Toro, guild master. Guild guy go, Toro stay. Toro, guild master. I got out when the kitten was good. Man, Toro, can I borrow a hundred bucks? I'll totally pay you back. Come here with Elsa. No like man Elsa with. Stay here in Silmaria. Oh yeah, Elsa. Huh. Yeah. I don't think I like this other guy either. What's the, what's his deal? Man got money. Man mm. got big house. Man got big boat. The competition. Man got Elsa. No like man. I don't like him either. Elsa good. Elsa hero. Make brigands leave Spielberg. Fight brother all time. Brother dumb, but brother boss. Dumb boss, bad boss. Elsa leave Spielberg. Elsa come here be boss. Elsa good boss. You know Elsa wasn't the hero of Spielberg, by the way. That was me. She didn't make the brigands leave. That was me. But anyway, I'll, I'll let it slide, because you're, you're Toro. Hope see hero man later. You good man. You good minotaur. He's the reason that uh, we know magic in the first place, because if you check out the playthrough we did as a pacifist in the first quest for glory, could not sneak past him or climb over the wall, whichever it was, to save our lives. So we had to... Uh, yeah, I had to use the calm spell ultimately. Yeah, we kept waking him up. Or, I don't know, just alerting him to our presence when we try to sneak. And I snuck the entire game, so that was, that was frustrating. But anyway, as always, 
Elsa von Spielberg have come somewhere to win the rights of rulership and become ruler of this kingdom. All right, so she's our direct competition, Elsa von Spielberg. Sign the book with a flourish, as always. Didn't say anything about a flourish that time. Oh, well. Let's see what we got on the Adventurer's Guild Bulletin Board. Potion needed. Alright, so the apothecary needs some Pegasus Feathers. The rights are open. Good job for best man or woman. Lost Basket. Beach southwest of Somaria. Return to Sara the Bead Merchant. Small room. I bet it's small. Friggin' Sara. Regicide! Ooh, 2,000 drachmas. That's not bad. Alright. Get a quick workout in before we hit the tavern for the evening. Love this track right here. Every pass, this can use a good, uh, good pair of legs to take him away from danger quite quickly. All right, that's good for now. There's our stats. See, our stealth went up one. Yeah, I have a, like I said, I have a little strategy for getting that up. Doing a bit of grinding. Got a couple puns in ya. Are you ready for a couple puns? The dolphin free tuna. It was caught on poipus. Oh no, Pumba! <laughs> like that's Tippy new and antlers too. Swords are so dull, they are more likely to bore you than to bore a hole in you. You cod swear this fish just winked at you. It must be either a flirting finny or a kissing garami. You are not moose taken. This is the rare moose fish. Remember, no moose is good moose. Legends say only virgins can see unicorns. You pretend you don't see it. <laughs> for many, you thought you entered the lawyer's guild because the shark. Just for the halibut, you yell, it's hard of herring. Hey, that's the way the cods fall. Best of times. Beast of times, it was the worst of rhymes. Oh, then you have the walking soundtrack, too. Jogging one's better. Can I get upstairs? Oh. Tora wouldn't know what I was doing. He'd just be like, Ooh, I like what you do. Must be read. Oh. Do you actually? Okay, fine. Interesting. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.